Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a <clears throat> fantastic day. So today's upload is getting uploaded as of 10:24 p.m. Sunday, April of uh, May 19th. And and guys, this is a precursor or a precursor. This may be moments before a a eventful day that will possibly could go down into history. Um we have an area of moderate issued for the Oklahoma area, Oklahoma City, and parts of north, uh, north, northern Texas, and we have already seen the moderate area several times this year, so it's not completely <clears throat> so it's not completely uncommon to be uh, witnessed. But you know, each day when there's moderates uh, issued, it's always a day of grave danger, especially when those areas contain over. A million, one and a half million people, which is just devastating. I mean, large tornadoes are possible. Uh, very widespread, uh, severe weather. Um, not good. Not good at all. Um, you should take this, guys, with a grave danger. Um, this is something we really need to, uh, you know, get get going with. So, alrighty. So, if you want to subscribe to this channel, you could do so. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. I, I really wanted to make this video as like an issuance because they're already getting school closed in these areas. I think there's Oklahoma City schools are already getting closed. I mean, just look at that. Holy cow. Um, 45% chance of or greater. And I think this is of, uh, this is just a probability of characteristics. So, um, look at that. The probability of being um, of severe weather occurring is 45 or greater, which is fairly high. Um, let's go to back to categorical risks, and you can see the moderate is issued, which is uh, fairly you know dangerous. It is uh, the second highest one they could issue. The highest one is high. That one gets issued very rarely. I remember one time we were under it, my area, Chicago, and holy cow, it was a scary night, and you do not want that occurring. Even a moderate is a scary thing to uh, witness. And you could see, again, maybe not that much of a square of miles, but these big cities are in it, over 1.6 million. So uh, basically the synopsis is, or the summary, um, a large tornado threat is occurring. You can see including strong tornadoes are expected across portions of the southern plains. So could this be the biggest outbreak of the season? I'm not sure, but it definitely is going to be one of the bigger ones. Uh, I think we've got an issue the moderate before twice or three times this year. This may be the third or fourth time. So, you know, that goes to show you this doesn't happen all too often. It does happen, though, every year usually. And uh, again, schools have been already closed across parts of Kansas, Oklahoma. So if you live in any of these areas, I would say if you live anywhere in the slight area, marginal, you know, you could see some severe weather, but I wouldn't uh, to be, you know, too concerned. If you live anywhere slight area or above, so the yellow, enhanced and moderate, so let's add this up. If you live in a moderate enhanced, 13 million plus almost 4 million that makes it us and then we get uh, add one more that is a total of 17 million people guys in uh, the threat for a fairly devastating um, possible event that could lead to large tornadoes damaging wind and destructive hail so this will be um occurring mainly in the afternoon based on what I read um, okay so they're actually saying right here that um, some of this may develop in the early morning but um, uh, there's a lot of uh, you know there's a lot of uh, impact that the early thunderstorm cluster may have on the ones later on that may occur so let's go to tropical tidbits quickly type that up and we see that a that's, uh, I'll show you the hours right now. What's the time frame looking? Because I think they're talking about a complex of storms occurring early in the morning, but the really severe ones are going to occur in the afternoon. And it's how long that uh, first complex of storms um, keeps the sun away is, uh, you know, the limits or doesn't limit the intensity of the second wave of storms in the afternoon, which would be obviously more of the destructive kind so yes this is definitely um a grave situation i may may 
I may live stream this. I know that is a first for me, but um, when there's something like a moderate issued, I may have to live stream. And I asked already people in last video if they want me to live stream, they said yes. Um, so I ask you guys again if you're the same people watching it. Um, thank you for your feedback on the last video. Um, I may live stream and that will be I usually don't like to live stream It's a lot of pressure for me, but um, You know, I just I just might it won't be long the live stream, but it, I think it will be I don't know up to 30 minutes I would say and I do not have you know great software like uh, David Schlauer has that guy is very good at live streaming and he does he has a lot of you know technology and a lot of apps and tools I don't unfortunately don't have that but I'll still try to give, keep my utmost updated on you guys and show you what's going on so let's look at the her model this is the um, high resolution rapid refresh model so I know it's resol high resolution rapid refresh I think that's what it stands for um, I don't know the exact order of those R's or rapid refresh I think that's how it goes though so high resolution rapid refresh um, the reason for its rapid refresh it updates every hour so you can go to this website tropicaltidbits.com and yes I know it's taking a very long to load very long time to load but uh, if you want to track the severe weather by yourself see what and what the models are showing tropicaltidbits.com if you are uh, in the you know if you're expecting thunderstorms and you're already in any second you could get hit by a thunderstorm you want the latest information go to the National Weather Service just type in National Weather Service it will be the first thing that pops up and it will lead you to this map and you'll click on your county and it will lead you to whether you have a warning or not and uh, any uh, all of that sort so we go through our six you could see this is at around okay so six seven this is around um, this is four o'clock in the morning. We start seeing a little bit of uh, movement across New Mexico, and that eventually le uh, starts going into Texas. You can see not doesn't look too severe yet. Um, definitely possibility. Uh, it definitely will have s severe thunderstorm warnings, but maybe not the dis you know too destructive ones. But here is just where it escalates. So this is at around seven eight o'clock in the morning right now. Another thing is, guys, if this event is you know mainly wind down by the end, um, at, at this point it doesn't look like it will be over in the afternoon. But if it is, I come back from school and it doesn't look too bad, then I will not live stream. But if it's um, you know nece if it's necessary, then I will. But you can see that. Um, Let's uh, wait for this to go. It is uh, okay, and you can see this develops into a rain shield up here. So nothing too remarkable, or nothing too destructive up here. Just some light to moderate rain, which typically doesn't do too much harm. I mean, unless you're really in a flood prone area, these areas have been seeing a lot of rain, so they definitely didn't need more. But it's this right here, guys. You see those little tiny cells? Uh, I wish I could zoom in, and I think I will. But um, this may um, not like this. Uh, I don't know why, but at this time of the day, at around 10.30, the Wi-Fi gets really bad here. So, and at that time, I usually want to record a video for next day. So I do apologize, but basically this complex starts developing and you can see it just escalates into a monumental, uh, a completely destructive system. We could be looking at, you know, a... I, we could be looking at a, a, a again, a one of the biggest outbreaks of the season possible, if not the biggest. And uh, I will definitely live stream if it is bad. And uh, at this point, yes, it does look like it will be bad. You could see, uh, again, if you want even more detail than the National Weather Service, type in SPC, Storm Prediction Center, will lead you to this website. You'll have a bunch of information about this. You could click on your city. You could do everything. Um, there's a summary. And there's already, yes, there's already been schools that have been closed. I know that seems bizarre, but um, there's been schools that have been closed because of this. So that doesn't usually happen. You know, something big is coming. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, even though there isn't really much to enjoy. This is kind of more of a scary video, uh, you know, necessary, but kind of frightening. But uh, in terms of the longer range outlook, uh, day two, the other days, they don't look um, as bad, but still a threat does exist. So we'll have to keep an eye out, out for that. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.